Is it just me or were December and January like as long as 17 years? The end of the year was crazy and, and I, like so many of us, thought 2021, we're going to be off to a great start. Spoiler alert, January was just as crazy. But here I am. I'm back. I did my hair. I'm not wearing sweatpants. It's time to make another handmade video. But here's the problem. I am out of ideas, guys. I've been doing this for a long time like a really long time. In fact, if you guys really scroll back to the beginning of this channel, you're gonna see a real evolution in my hair and face and fashion and everything. In fact, maybe you should let me know, like, like leave a comment below with the first video I ever did on Handmade. Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Today I'm taking three of my family's favorite breakfast and putting a special spin on them to celebrate the holiday. Actually, don't. I don't think I wanna see. <laughs> but anyway, I'm out of ideas. And it's just hard, right? It's hard to make craft videos month after month after month and constantly come up with fresh and exciting ideas for you guys. So, I did what any normal human being would do and i challenged my team to come up with a craft project for me and when i say they accepted this challenge with glee i mean they were so excited and now i'm scared <laughs> what if it's another pinata i hate making pinatas Hey guys, this is Marianne for HGTV.com, and on today's weekday craft afternoon, we're making a beehive pinata. They left this on my front porch for me, and inside is, it smells weird. I can smell, it smells like my grandmother's bathroom. They met, they came up with a project idea for me, Please don't let this be soap. That's what it smells like. It smells like soap. If we sent her like a soap making kit. Oh no, there's too many ways to mess it up. Okay, we're opening it. Are you guys ready? <sighs> I don't think I'm ready. Ultimate soap carving. Did you know that this was a thing? At first I was really scared that it was going to be like making soap because I've watched so many videos of people making soap and something always goes wrong. I'm specifically thinking of Sophia Nygaard when she has attempted soap making. It just looks hard. It looks messy. Um, and then I feel like the actual soap experts like come for you and I just, I'm not here for that. I'm not welcoming criticism into my life. I can do that myself. But this is not that. This is carving soap, which I've literally never heard of. Oh my gosh, look at those little donuts. Well, this is cute. Guys, I guess we're just gonna go through this book. This looks, this looks hard, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm up for it. I'm up for the challenge. Oh my gosh, that one has a light inside it. People are doing things with soap. We are going to carve some soap, I guess. I have watched like 17 soap carving videos and I've been reading this book. And here's my takeaway so far. I totally get but why people think this is relaxing to watch. It's, there's something very satisfying about slicing into the soap. There's, it, there's like some ASMR kind of vibes. What I'm not getting is why it's any fun to do it. <laughs> I think something 
relaxing would be nice. That's what I'm a little anxious about. I've been reading, I've been watching, like at this point, I'm just kind of ready to, to start cutting up some soap. Like, I think it's kind of time to put your money where your mouth is. You shouldn't put money in your mouth at all. It's dirty. You shouldn't put soap in your mouth either. There's a lot of conversation about picking the right kind of soap. I am just going to assume that my sweet, lovely team picked these particular soaps for me because they are the right kind of soap. It also said to really make sure it was fresh, that it was like wrapped in plastic. These were like triple wrapped in some cases. Um, it does say you can like microwave the soap and stuff, but it also says the soap could explode if you microwave it. I'm just going to open one of these and just experiment with the tools. Just gonna, okay. Okay. Makiko in the book, I mean, I feel like she mostly uses just like a knife. It's not that sharp. It does say in the book that this is a good activity to do with kids because, you know, soap is a lot softer, obviously, than wood, you know, because this is basically very clean whittling. I also grabbed a paring knife just from my knife drawer um, because it seemed like I might want like a bigger blade. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking off this first layer. I don't know. I feel like this is the kind of thing that my husband and kids are gonna walk in and be like, Mom, do you need a nap? This soap is the one. This is the business. Like it's really behaving the way it's supposed to. I don't know guys. So this one is olive oil soap. This is like much this is like much nicer soap. Oh I do not like that. I guess that worked. This is still not nearly as enjoyable to work with as the white one. And it smells terrible. I think the white soap is the winner. I've cut out the little dog template. Look at that little buddy. He's so cute. So I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna dive in. I'm kind of tired of researching. The more I read, the harder it seems. So I'm just gonna go for it. First thing we're supposed to do is just carefully trim off the surface of the soap. This is probably my favorite part. Now, the book comes with these adorable templates. I just really like this little wiener dog. I think he's so cute. And the nice thing about soap is the paper kind of sticks to it. I mean, sorry about the white template on the white soap, guys. It's, you know, I found out I was doing this this morning. It says you can use a toothpick. I'm gonna to use this tool. It's just like, I don't know, Mr. Pointy. And I'm going to trace the outline of our pepper. This soap is so soft and like satisfying to work with. I really appreciate the, um, the templates here because Honestly, I don't, I think it would be really hard to freehand this, to be honest. So, there we have it. All right, set the template aside because we're gonna need it again for the ear. And now I'm a little, <laughs> this is the part I'm a little nervous about, removing the soap. I'm just gonna take off some like big chunks. Oh, that was 
this kind of part of his head. Oops. Can I fix that? Mm. I think I just cut off part of the dog's head. Oh. No. I messed up already. I think something relaxing would be nice. <sighs> Let's try that again. All right, so we learned can't just go crazy cutting cutting away the soap. So I'm going to be a little more gentle. soap carvers out there are like, girl, what are you doing? That is not the right tool. For a craft made out of soap, this is like shockingly messy, I have to say. Mm. Is that a dog yet? This side doesn't look like a dog at all. Oh. I just don't know what's happening on the back here. This looks terrible. Um, let's just ignore the back for now. All right, are we gonna clean up again? There's soap everywhere. I have soap in my mouth. I have soap in my eye. <laughs> it's like, It's like what you think you're ordering and then what, what comes in the mail from like Wish or something. We are just going to soldier on, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a break from the body of the dog and work, and work on the ear, I think. There's a cardinal banging on my window. I have just about had it with this cardinal. Um, I'm done. Several hours later and I have a dog-like creature and a bowl full of soap scraps to show for my efforts. I can't say I'm gonna be leaving it all behind and starting a new career as a soap carver, but what I did learn is that it's very satisfying to cut soap. I mean, honestly, the most fun I had was just scraping curls of soap off of the bar. It was a great stress reliever, but I also learned something. Well, more like I confirmed something I already knew about myself, which is that I don't love sculpting things. <laughs> whittling with soap is really not that much more fun than whittling with wood. Something I tried in summer camp once and almost cut my thumbnail off. I got a little dog to show for it, and I am very inspired and impressed by the people who are actually good at carving soap. Like Makiko here. She is truly a wizard. Makiko, don't worry, I'm not coming for your throne anytime soon. What I am thankful for is that my team came up with a challenge for me, and you know what? It's always fun to try to learn something new. I want to hear from you guys. Did you guys like the format of this video? We kind of changed things up a little bit. Have you ever tried soap carving? I'm sure you're all better at it than I am. Be kind to me. I tried my best. He's pretty cute. I'm gonna name him Sparky or Sudsy. That's a cute name for a soap dog. It's a weird thing I never thought I'd say before. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below if you guys liked this video and if you want my team to come up with some more challenges for me because that part of this was the most fun part. Getting a mystery box of items and wondering what the hell I'm supposed to do with all of this. 
Anyway, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and tell all your friends. Let's watch this old lady try to cut up some soap. What else do we have to do, right? I'll see you guys next time.